Ten years ago, in 2014, an unfamiliar bug was discovered in Berks County, Pennsylvania, a county northwest of Philadelphia. This strange insect is known as a spotted lanternfly, and it's actually not from the United States, but parts of Asia like Vietnam, China, and India, and has not only spread to Pennsylvania, but other neighboring states as well. You may think this is just another invasive species. While you're right, these bugs are some of the most destructive yet. Spotted lanternflies aren't actually flies, but are plant hoppers. Adults are around an inch long and have lots of vibrant and striking colors. The forewings, when closed, contain a grayish brown to light brown color with symmetrical black dots. However, when the wings are open, it's where the colors really shine. They are striking red with black dots at the base, transitioning to a white band towards the middle and ending in a black outer edge. So with all this, they aren't easy to miss. Now, how do these invasive insects get here? Well, we don't have a 100% answer, but the best thought is that they arrived on a stone shipment from China back in 2012, two years before the first sighting in the US. On the shipment, lanternflies were believed to lay egg masses on the cargo, which were undetected. They are covered with a creamy white putty-like substance that turns gray or brown when dry, making them difficult to see. As mentioned earlier, spotted lanternflies are plant hoppers, which means it primarily feeds on the sap of various plants and trees. Its preferred meal is the sap of the tree of heaven, another invasive species that thrives in many urban and rural landscapes in the US. However, the spotted lanternfly is far from picky. It has been known to feed on over 70 different plant species, including important agricultural crops like grapes, apples, hops, and various hardwoods. This feeding behavior weakens the plants, leaving them more vulnerable to disease and, in some cases, causing their death. And speaking of crops and plants, grapevine growers in particular have felt the sting of this invasion. Pennsylvania alone is home to a thriving wine industry, which contributes to about $4.8 billion annually to the state's economy. The spotted lanternfly feeds viciously on grapevines, weakening them and reducing grape yields. And in severe cases, vineyards have been forced to remove entire blocks of vines. The hop industry, which supports craft brewing, is also at risk, as are apple orchards and hardwood producers. In 2019, Pennsylvania estimated that the bug had caused $324 million in damages annually to the state's agriculture and timber industries, and that's just one state. And you're probably wondering, how are these insects able to spread so quickly? Well, it's the egg masses as mentioned earlier in the video. But there's another thing, they don't have any native predators, meaning its population can expand quickly. Also, with the availability of their host plants, they can reproduce. Their population has gotten so bad, in fact, that the infested state's governments have actually encouraged people to literally smash and kill the lanternflies and their eggs. And of course, killing them with pesticides and herbicides. Despite this, these efforts barely put a dent into controlling their populations. If we really want to get rid of them, the best thing to do is get rid of their host plants, like the Tree of Heaven. If you ever see one of these bugs, please stomp on them and don't feel bad. I hope everybody enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching.